All right guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to add an image inside our game window. In this video, we are going to learn how to move this image left, right or top or bottom. So basically, we are concerned about the movement of an object inside our game window or anything that we draw. It can be image, it can be an uh, text. After you watch this video, you'll understand how the mechanics of movement in a game works. So just to make sure that you guys understand it, I've created an image so that you guys can understand what we are going to do and the basics of movement of an image or anything that you want. So obviously we have created a game window. This is our game window. It is 800 wide. That is 800 X axis. And then it's 600 is height. That is, you can see it or this as Y axis. And our spaceship currently is at 370 pixels as we have uh, added this over here that is the player x is at 370 pixels now if we go back to our image what if we wanted this image to move from over here to over here we can just add five pixels to our already existing 370 pixels and this image will move in the right hand direction and now what if we added five pixel continuously so this five pixel will if we add it continuously this image will continue to move towards the right hand side so for example we can add a functionality which adds five pixels to our existing 370 pixels in a while loop some kind of a while loop and this will happen continuously after every iteration of our loop similarly if we want to move it to the left hand side we can just decrease some value from our 370 pixel value that is we can decrease some x player x value and it will move towards the left hand side and similarly if we want to move up we can subtract some y value so currently the y value of this is 480 so if we subtract some value from this uh, 480 it will move towards up direction and if we add some value it will move in the downward direction so adding and subtracting values from x and y coordinates of a current position of the object or in this case spaceship can lead to a movement of that object and we have to add it to a while loop because we want it to happen continuously so if we go back to our code we need to add one thing before i can show you guys how we can add uh, values to our player x and player y or we, how we can subtract it so before that we need to make some changes because currently there is no way to manipulate the x and y coordinates from our while running loop and if you didn't understand what I meant by this uh, over here, don't worry about it. When we actually write the code, you'll understand what is happening and what I mean by uh, increasing the X value to move it towards the right hand direction. Basically, if you move it very, very quickly, it won't seem that the image is moving. It will just seem like that the spaceship is continuously moving because of the effect of persistence in our eye. We can't see things that are happening very, very quickly like magicians do they, they create illusions by moving things really really quickly and the persistence in the eye tells us that the image hasn't been erased and then created over here it just assumes that the image has moved on the right hand direction if we are adding the five value to our already existing x coordinate so anyways we need to do something so that we can manipulate the value of player x and player y from the running y loop so what we can do is go to this def player function and over here add x comma y so that we can send in the values of the new x and y coordinates that we want and then instead of player x and player y we can just add x and y so that the values that we send to this player instead of the the last values that it got from player x and player y instead of that the new values that we send in of x and y are being uh, shown on the screen or being drawn on the screen so now we have to go back to the place where we are calling this function. So over here right now, let's just write in player X and player Y and you will see that there has been no change. So let me just uh, exit this first and then play it again. Let's play it. So you'll see that there has been no change because you are not manipulating the player X and player Y value right now. So let's go through this once as to what's happening over here. So first it goes to this code, it creates the spaceship, then it takes the coordinates of the X and Y of the player or the spaceship and then there is this player exchange let me remove this right now we don't need it and then if we go down we have created this function of def player X comma Y and then this is being drawn on the screen so this code hasn't been executed yet because it is inside this while running loop 
but the program just sees that this exists now when we go down over here then this player thing is called and it takes the player x and player y value from here and sends it to this dev player function and inside x and y currently the 370 and 480 exists so this image is being drawn at this coordinate now what if we change the value inside a while running function so for example let's say we increase the value of player x by something small let's let's uh, let's increase continuously by five so this will move really really quickly and you won't be able to see the image moving towards the right hand side but i just want to show it to you guys for the speed so you can see how quickly it moved i hope you got it just to slow it down i'm just going to give it the value of 0 0.1 so that you guys can see it properly and you will see that it is moving in the right hand side direction slowly so why is this happening so every time this while loop is running the player x coordinate increases by 0.1 and this value is sent over here in this function player function and then it is sent to this new player function and a new image is basically drawn on a new coordinate and the original image is being removed so for example let's also just uh, let's make it 0 0.2 and this time we are also going to print out the value of player x so that you guys can see that the player x value is increasing from our original value so over here you can see that it's being increased by 0 0.1 and it's going on let's stop it right now and uh, let's actually try it to move it in the left hand left hand side direction so let's give it a minus value of 0.1 so now we want to decrease the value so instead of increasing the value we want to decrease the value and move it towards the left hand side so let's play it again this time and hopefully let's just remove the player the print function because we don't need it so now let's play it and you can see it's moving towards the left hand side and similarly, if we do instead of the x coordinate, we do the y coordinate and decrease its value is going to go towards the up direction. So let's reload it and you will be able to see that it's moving towards the up direction. And similarly, if we add stuff, it was going to go down. So hopefully you guys understood the mechanics of a movement of an object just to reiterate why is this movement happening why is when uh, when we are decreasing the value in y it's going up so because at the bottom the value of y coordinate is 600 so if we decrease the value it is going up so over here it's about 480 and if we decrease it more it's going to go towards the up direction and similarly if we increase it it's going to go below um, more than 600 coordinates so right now you can see there are some uh, some fallacies with this system right now we can't control where this is going and uh, you'll be able to see that it just goes outside the screen so we need to do a couple of things first we need to make sure that we can control this movement of the spaceship in the left and the right hand direction using our arrow keys on the keyboard and the second thing we need to do is add a boundary so that the spaceship doesn't go beyond our game window right now it's just disappearing by going outside the game window so we'll be handling these two things in the next and the coming videos so in the next video we are going to learn how to add keyboard support to our game so basically we are going to control our spaceship using arrow keys and that's going to be really exciting so i'll see you in the next video this is pretty much it for this